welcome back to Vlatlix. Okay, this incredible gin arrived in a really cool uh, box and they also included opener. Well, thank you so much Impress Gin for such a beautiful opener, but I already got like 100 of them, so I'm going to sign it and ship it to one of you as a gift. So we haven't done any giveaways for a while, let's do it this way. If you would like to win this opener, go to Instagram Next Level Bartending, follow that page, and leave a comment. What is your favorite cocktail or what kind of cocktail you would like me to make here next? I will choose random winner and ship this opener anywhere around the world. So let's do this. Oh wait, and before we start, can you guys please hit the like button? If you're not familiar with this spirit, I wanted to mention that Empress Gin is distilled in Victoria, British Columbia. And besides traditional botanicals that used in the gin, they added butterfly PT that gives this gin magnificent color and it changes once it's mixed with citrus juice. Let's go. Okay, first we're going to make Empress Gin and Rosemary cocktail. I will use a mixing glass. Oh, and hope you guys like my new measuring cup so you get to see everything I pour. Okay, so we need one ounce and a half of gin. Next, I will pour a quarter of an ounce of Italicus liqueur. And if you're not familiar with Italicus, it's basically Italian spirit based on rose petals and bergamot. Next, we need rosemary infused syrup, which is really easy to make. Watch this. <laughs> so it's just water, sugar, and fresh rosemary. Pour it into a clean bottle and label it. You will love this cocktail so much, so you will need a lot of syrup. And it's gonna last for a while since for each serving you need only half an ounce. Let's get my favorite cutting board and this will be a last ingredient, fresh lemon juice. I'm going to use squeezer and measure it. Usually I squeeze right into the mixing glass or shaker, but these limes are so juicy, so I want to make sure it wouldn't be too sour. So it's really, really nice to see how it's becoming prettier and more purple when you add in a lemon juice. Now I'm gonna clean this area a little bit, fill it up mixing glass full of ice, cover it with my favorite Boston shaker and shake it pretty hard for like 15 seconds. I keep my glasses in the freezer, so I will use pre-chilled coop glass. And as always, I would recommend to use regular and fine strainer. While you're enjoying this beautiful, sexy pour, can you guys please hit the like button? Thank you so much. For the garnish, I will use fresh rosemary and we'll just pin it to the glass rim. Now time for the sexy b-roll, so to make you feel like you have to go to the store and get all the ingredients right now. Next, we're going to make Empress Tonic. I'm going to use large wine glass, fill it up all the way to the top with the small clear ice cubes. Okay, let's bring back our Empress gin and we will need one ounce and a half. You can try to mix with original, I'm sure it tastes great, but here I will be using elderflower tonic. Also, it's personal preference, but I wouldn't recommend to pour more than three ounces. Lightly stir it one time with a spoon. And since it's not traditional gin tonic, we're not gonna use lime, we will need one slice of grapefruit. To make it look prettier, I usually try to put it right on the side of the glass. Let's clean this up so I can show it to you a little bit closer how pretty this impressed tonic is. Next, I'm going to show you how to make Empress Aviation. Well, classic version comes with a creme de violet liqueur, but for this version, we're not going to use it. I'm going to start with gin and we'll pour it two ounces. Next, I'm going to pour half an ounce of maraschino liqueur. You can use any brand, but I believe most of you will be using Luxardo since it's the most popular. Let's bring back my favorite cutting board and I need to squeeze three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Prepare for another color change and go. Okay, now fill it up all the way to the top with ice and I also go on to shake it for like 20 seconds or so. I will use small chilled cocktail glass, then strain with regular and fine strainer. Let's enjoy another beautiful pour and make sure that you already subscribe to this channel. For garnish here we will use lemon zest, squeeze it on top of the cocktail and toss it right inside. And this is your Empress Aviation Cocktail. Make sure to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite so far. Next, I'm going to make a really cool version of Electric Lemonade. Let's go. First, I'm going to make lemon zest since we will need to squeeze this entire lemon. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to cut it now. <laughs> Next, I need chilled highball glass. Fill it up all the way to the top with medium-sized ice cubes. Let's get right to it and pour one ounce and a half of gin. And this already pretty color is about to change. Next, I'm gonna squeeze one ounce of fresh lemon juice. And did I mention that color is going to change? <laughs> Depends how sweet you prefer, pour a quarter to half an ounce of simple syrup. Stir it for a few seconds with a bar spoon. Now we'll use lemonade and go in to fill it up all the way to the top. And it shouldn't be more than three ounces total. Now really lightly mix it with a spoon 
and I will garnish it with lemon zest that I made in the beginning. Oh, and I'm still trying to save turtles one metal straw at a time. It's ready to go, but I wanted to try and add edible glitter just for the presentation and I had teal, purple and blue, so I decided to go with the purple and check it out. Now I think it's a pretty cool version of electric lemonade, but you guys let me know what you think. And now boys and girls we're going to make a really really exciting version of Negroni. We're going to mix it in a stirring glass, so let's start with one ounce and a half of Empress Gin. I will be using Cinzano Bianco, three quarters of an ounce. And by the way, you also can use Luxardo Bitter Bianco. Next we need to add orange bitters, let's do two dashes. Three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. Now I'm going to chill this Negroni really really well, so I will add a few pieces of ice and stir it for like 20 seconds. Let's get the julep strainer ready. Of course chilled double rocks glass, one large cube of ice and slowly strain our beautiful delicious Negroni on top of the ice. For the garnish we will need a grapefruit zest or if you prefer you can use grapefruit slice. I'm gonna express oils from this grapefruit zest and put it right inside. Thank you so much guys for watching and again if you would like to win this beautiful opener please go follow page next level bartending and comment under this video. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.